Okay, welcome back. This is part three of three of the scenario Under the Sands. And we saw last time that the cave exit was in sight. I still kind of feel like it shouldn't be this easy, but let's see what happens when we go up here, because I am going to be interested in the outcome. So first off, a drone has just spawned. And my weakest spectre cannot do anything about that. But this, these other guys... So it just should be plowing through the matrix flow system. Not a strong performance. There we go. So Thenia, now that she's had that advancement, is now actually finding her ability to hit, which is good. There are more enemies up here. And there are more trees down here. So, alright, there's a camp here. It feels like it's not the end of the level. So what happens when you move down here? Okay, so I can win the game at any time, but there is plenty there are plenty of enemies left to be killed. Including this guy, he's gonna block my path. Ah, uh, how tedious. Well these guys, these runners are quite irritating too. Okay, one down. Still the case that the objective is just to proceed south. I'm a little suspicious of this. But everyone else can go back up in case they can help with the fight. Sneaky invisible bastards. Grr. <laughs> what was that? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
Ow! These guys are nasty and that didn't do anything. You can't even kill it. You come out here. Okay, well now it's dead. These units are not proving as easy to kill as I had hoped. Well, that guy was at least. But there are not many, um, there, there might be more invisibles around. Oh, we've got a respawn up here. Several respawns. Alright. Come on, you can do it. You've just missed with eight attacks in a row against a level one unit that's on 50% defense. And yeah. I, I don't know what to say to you. Are you clearly, yeah. You ought to be able to get one as well. I think the faster I tear these things down, the better. Ah, there's another matrix flow system there. And there are more drones. You, are you gonna do anything? You, you, you're gonna come around and attack Deathy. I don't want that. Well, you can't attack anyone, but if I put you there. Tricky, 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 tricky. Okay, well it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if you attacked Ethi, I guess. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I aggroed this guy. Though I'd rather not. Um, I think what I'm just going to do is put you there. Over here, at least we don't have people who can poison me. Come on, come on, Deathy, you can do it. Yeah, there we go. Now you, I think, are not the person for the job, so I'll pull you back a bit. Bring in Blady. Perfection itself. And you... Alright, no one else is aggroed. Should I leave it that way, or should I...? Aha! Yeah, okay. I'm glad I moved. Unfortunately now, the quandary I am in is this. I don't really want to be attacked here, but... <laughs> Oh. 
Another bit of sneaky invisibleness there. Oh, and we got a respawn. Now, much as I, I think it would be tactically the better move, first try right, So you are the only one who can get through here. And so you should. Man, there are so many drones respawning up here. I'm wondering if it's even worth fighting through with another group of units. Okay, you can't reach over towards the Matrix flow system. You're invisible still, so worth remembering. Ah, oh, oh, it's a boss Matrix flow system. That's exciting. All right, and I'm in here now, so I might as well press on. You know, I think every other time I've played this scenario, I've just skipped this bit. I felt that it was not worth bothering with. And I was wrong about that. This is fun. Alright, rip that guy. And as long as I keep coming down here, I'm safe. I'm only worried about the invisibles. Les invisibles. You can poison. I don't want I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Okay. I'll just leave it there. Now suddenly you've got the money to spawn one of the nastiest kind of drones, in fact the single nastiest kind of drone. I'm a little bit offended by that. So who can attack what? You could go and attack, you both could go and attack that guy. You could easily do 48 damage there, but you won't get the kill. You guys are not fast enough. I should probably focus on killing the people who are trying to kill you. Not sustainable in the long term, though. Alright. Now, it is smarter. The, the, I mean, the Matrix flow systems aren't going anywhere, so... It is just generally smarter to attack the drone. That's a waste of your abilities though. Do you have any weakness? No, you don't. Okay, good. That means that you shouldn't be instantly killable by the drone. There's a beautiful room in here which has some... Um, <laughs> a load of villages, which is, which is very nice. Just need to bag that and then click end turn until the end of the mission. Alright, just one more of these dudes left and I've got to deal with this irritating person. Uh, run in, Arathan. You can do it. Perfect.
Oh, I thought you'd choose to do that. Well, that's okay, because your boss is going to go down. You could die if you do that, and probably will. So instead of that, you should be the one to go and kill the Matrix Core. Like triggered a wall moves and now we have a nice clear route to the exit that's nice you come down here and I want you to do the same there are loads and loads of drones over here including <laughs> There's, there's all these things blocking the wall. Um, all right, everyone get out of the danger zones, and then we can keep going. Okay, free food for the spectres. Uh, rather than killing these things, it's actually more useful right now for you to grab the villagers. So, well, first you grab that one. You can grab that one. You just run and hope no one notices you. Hope this guy doesn't come and poison you, which he almost certainly will. I think we can now see everything that's going on over here. So we can proceed to farm experience for the spectres, farm levels, um, yeah. Fantastic. Got lots of turns left. You just sit tight for now. Actually, you come up here. Poisoned. Back here, there's another passage, interestingly. I wonder where that goes. Not got time to find out. But you come down here and explore this passage. Yeah, I can go down there too. Okay, there's stuff here. There is indisputably, legitimately stuff here. Right, so what happens if I put you here? You can't get around. That's good, that's the outcome I wanted.
So no early finish bonus, but I am getting a lot of gold per turn. So I think uh, it's fairly clear what the optimum play is in this situation. For those of you who are less experienced playing this game, the optimum play is to keep playing because uh, basically if I, if I end turn the turn before the final possible chance, I will have the opportunity to get as much gold as basically realistic. This is a tricky corner. One of these guys is going to get the chance to attack me. Unless, no, the Night Gaunt can put paid to it. If I do it this way around. Good, now you explore. You explore this way. Oh, there's a drone. There's lots of drones. That doesn't look like a fun place at all. Is there any point going down here? It looks kind of nasty. There might just be lots of drones there. Well, it, it could be fun. Yeah, a load of weak drones and a passageway. I think I'm almost certain that passageway is going to lead to absolutely nowhere. Um, but don't know just yet. I'll go down with the with specters and find out. Oh, I'm still missing a house. How could you, George? Bad play. Bad, bad play. Alright, so there's nothing up there, that's the edge of the map. You can't move any further. These guys don't seem to want to attack. Um, you go back and get some health. Everyone else can pretty much stay where they are. Okay, this is a dead end. And unless I want to farm XP from killing these guys, um, which actually, <laughs> I've got another 20 turns. <laughs> this, this scenario is actually kind of hilarious when you play it this way. You need to have a fair bit of knowledge of how Wesnoth actually works. but. Okay, that really hurts. No. 
no kill. Um, can I get to... Can I get to um, Death Bat? Do I want to get to Death Bat? Do I want to die? Um, I've got a 60% chance of hitting with the first hit. The enemy only has 40. This is the kind of point in the campaign where I'm just going to take a risk. And that's what happens when I take a risk in a campaign. On the plus side, that'll save me gold. Alright, now you guys get out of there, and we can end the campaign when we get to turn 65. Everybody bounce! Immediately another one has spawned. Everyone come out into this cabin. All right, time for a bunch of clicking and turn. This is fun, isn't it? Time passes. You don't say. Galas, please wake up. He still hasn't regained consciousness? Huh. I have to say, I always thought you elves were more resilient than this. For how much longer do you believe we are going to have to wait here in the open, fairy? For as long as need be, of course. But if you really want us to go... You know, human guy, you are a very obnoxious character. I actually agree with Malkashar here. Um, Erethan is extremely obnoxious. I can't actually... 
I didn't remember him being this annoying previously in the campaign. Um, he just must have got more annoying with the new release, I guess. But the most annoying thing about him in the past was that you had to keep him alive. Now the most annoying thing is that he's constantly second-guessing you. If you don't think you can help us, then perhaps you should have stayed back in your cosy home in the far north. Or at the very least, keep your mouth shut. Again, I agree 100%. Huh, you of all people are calling me obnoxious, Lich. I knew you were not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I may have overestimated your self-awareness. Never mind what I just said, I will shut your mouth myself. Please, stop. You don't need to fight each other. We're all in this together, aren't we? Yes, please. If you really must kill each other, do so in silence. I am trying to focus on bringing Galas back. A whisper. And a light. What happened to me? Oh, Master Galas, I'm really happy to see you awake again. Elinia, what happened? Where are we? Why, weren't we in the caves? What happened? Why the hell are you asking us? What happened to you is the question. Galas, I thought for a moment you would never open your eyes again. What did the darkness do to you? You, you would not believe me if I told you. You would think I was insane, or that I had been possessed by the enemy. Really, kid, there is nothing to hide. We saw the shadows trying to enter your body. I mean, I saw them. Elenia did not. Gallus, please tell us. We are your friends. We have followed you this far, and we will help you no matter what. I should not have turned the deaf ear to the warnings. Coming to these lands on the assassination mission was ill-advised. Elinia, I saw him. I saw the Dark Emperor, that metal-covered face, and he tried to tear into my mind, boasting about his power. He tried to convince me to kill you. He, he almost took control of my body. I tried to resist his power, but I am not strong enough to do this, Elinia. I, I am not strong enough to avenge Anlinde. I am not. Gallas, don't feel guilty. What you experienced, very few people have ever managed to fend off that kind of magic. You should be proud of what you did. Even if it could have killed you, you stayed loyal to your friends long enough for me to realize what was going on and protect you with my light. I am truly sorry for causing you so much trouble, Anemia. I really am. We have a mission to complete, don't we? Please don't fret about it. Someday, your kinsmen will tell stories of how the Grand Lord Galas of the Elves helped save Ertia from certain destruction by the creatures of Uriah. I think it will be worth it. Just try to stay close to us at all times, and let Malin and I protect you from the darkness. Would that be all right with you? Yes, I will do as you say, Alinia. Thank you. Thank you all. Pa, suit yourself. Okay, and now I've got 432 bonus gold for this next scenario. I'm hoping it's a big battle scenario, because I'm going to kick some ass. That's it for now. Let's look at our achievements. Statistics, losses two, and they were the Blood Bat, who I lost towards the end, and the Ghost. And to be honest, yeah, I'm not going to hugely miss either of those, I think. Um, I didn't lose any of my veterans, which is the crucial thing. So that's that. That is the end of part three. That is the end of scenario 19. Join me next time for scenario 20.